Okay, uh, hello Scrappers, uh, my name is uh, Recycle Pete and uh, today I'm gonna show you some of my um, RAM depopulating techniques. Um, the reason I'm doing this is obviously um, gold recovery and uh, I'm trying to, to recover the gold from, from these RAM sticks with zero waste. Well, along this video and uh, my other videos from this series, uh, you will understand why zero waste. I'm going to um, use these RAM sticks and I'm going to work with those RAM sticks, um, also with these ones and I have a bunch more. Um, to recover gold using everything um, from this board. Well, actually, these RAM sticks are more than meets the eye. Actually, uh, apart from ob the obvious gold fingers, uh, you'll see some RAM sticks which have um, also. Uh, let me let me find one. You, you will have some RAM sticks which also has these uh, holes with uh, gold and uh, actually I'm going to uh, use these and work with these so I don't throw away everything, anything from it. Basically I'm going to use the fingers, I'm going to uh, recover gold from the chips, I'm going to recover uh, copper from from uh, actually the board itself without creating waste in the series you will you will uh, see that uh, every step I use to to recover all the metals and uh, everything from these boards will be um, to achieve zero waste actually you cannot do 100% zero waste because uh, you have to use acids at some point but mostly 90% 95% of, of these RAM sticks will be uh, recycled and uh, everything will be used out of it so that being said let's uh, start with some safety stuff uh, safety is all that is about by recovering gold from any e-waste if you will watch um, any other videos this is the first thing they will start with is safety um, when doing whatever work on any e-waste you need to protect yourself you need to wear gloves goggles masks um, anything that is uh, guaranteeing your self safety along the process so uh, that being said the next point is if you're new to this recovery stuff, uh, e-waste processing, gold recovery from e-waste, uh, a must read uh, lecture is Hoax book. You can find it on the internet, you can buy it if you want. Um, um, even uh, my warm recommendation is you need to, uh, well, you don't need to, but it's, um, it helps a lot. If you re register on Gold Refining Forum, you will find every information about e-waste gold recovery over there. If you cannot find something, uh, that means that problem does not exist. There are guys who are literally doing this for decades. Their experience is priceless and believe me guys, it's only for your benefit to learn everything as it is and uh, use it wisely use your knowledge wisely so um, some of the guys I follow on uh, YouTube is um, like e-waste ban, moose crapper, three tips, nerd rage, Cody's lab uh, these guys are doing things uh, professionally uh, these guys are, are helping you with with informations and uh, everything you need uh, well, there are a lot more, a uh, lot more people who, who have videos on the internet and um, on, on YouTube. And actually, uh, you will find 
uh, mostly uh, relevant and useful information and you will find people who are doing things not as it should be avoid those people who are not um, using safety they are not doing anything by the book because you can hurt yourself you will work on the process along the process you will work with acids you will work with dangerous stuff and it's not a joke guys so that being said said um, I have uh, a few RAM types RAM stick types here like uh, these ones like these ones actually uh, my favorite is this one is an SEC RAM Dell RAM it has four layers of chips uh, by far this is the most exciting RAM stick I ever found and uh, I have a few of these it's quite interesting but actually what we are going to do now with these sticks I'm gonna show you um, depopulating these foils without using acids well actually um, there are a few advantages and disadvantages of this process um, the advantage is that you will skip a long time of AP uh, process AP process is uh, you can find a lot of videos about uh, AP process Moose Scrapper has very good uh, videos uh, three tips also um, actually the process is you cut down as closely as you can these uh, edges then you will use uh, hydrogen chloride and uh, um, hydrogen peroxide to etch this and uh, release the foils after that you will go along with the um, refining process the advantage of uh, using uh, the soldering iron to depopulate the, the foils which will show like this it will look like this one actually you see it's um, not necessarily it's faster but uh, you skip along a lot of uh, uh, actually you skip uh, the AP process which creates waste waste which you have which uh, you need to handle and waste which you have to store somewhere until you uh, uh, actually dispose it so I, I choose this process because um, although it, it takes some time to uh, depopulate and actually um, if you calculate the, the amount of time you need to use the AP process and uh, the amount of time you use the soldering iron type of depopulating uh, you will see that actually you can store it the advantage is you can store these as you see you can store it in a small container you don't create wa create waste by uh, disposing the remaining um, PCB stuff that remains after the AP process and uh, well uh, yeah this this is the, the the main advantage why I'm using it uh, it's easier to to work with this than um, working with a large amount of, of uh, cut fingers so um, let me show you how I do it uh, for this process you need a soldering iron well this could be a cheap one um, or a medium one you don't need a premium soldering iron I have um, I believe it costs like 20 bucks on Aliexpress um, these ones are advantages because you can actually if you see you can uh, choose the temperature on which the tip will work so uh, if you set it for let's say 450 degrees Celsius then the tip of the soldering iron which you will use to depopulate the the, the foils will be at 450 degrees which is uh, easier to loosen the the, um, the force let me show you how it's done how I do it um, 
you can try this is about uh, a long process that i've tried different uh, temperatures and i've found that uh, 400 between 400 and 450 you can work easily with the foils without any uh, actually without um, any harm or whatever so that being said let me show you why you need uh, safety i'm not wearing gloves because i cannot work with gloves um this is my problem but if you can work with gloves work with gloves let me show you why it is essentially to uh, be aware that safety is first it's 450 degrees i just touched my finger already decolorated it will burn you it will burn you large so um let me show you it uh, if you can find a tip like this it's uh, fine uh, if you have a round tip that's fine too um, depends on on what what type of of uh, work do you want to do so okay now let's go backwards this um, technique I saw on Iwe's Ben video. Um, he made a 1000 ram stick challenge, actually, and um, you would find it quite interesting to see that uh, he smelted down these small foils as they are without any uh, further processing and uh, assayed it. So it's quite interesting. The results he got okay let's see there you have it you see it's already done it takes maybe a few seconds to to depopulate every ram stick is different um, there are some sticks you can uh, work easily with and there are sticks that just don't want to let go of their foils um, those you can put aside and work with them when when you f when you think that it's appropriate to that's how it goes uh, not too much pressure on it and uh, there you have your foils clean you already have uh, the board that you stored so it just goes back to the box for me because I'm going to process it separately, I have to depopulate the uh, chips from it and uh, after that I have to process the whole board as it is. Now an interesting thing you will see, every ram stick, every, not every ram stick, but most of the ram stick have these small dots. These are also gold plated, the same plated gold is on it as on the foils many people just discard this and uh, throw away or uh, uh, just send the boards to um, recycling um, I just take it off it's like exactly the same as you would have uh, some foils on it let's take uh, some other ram sticks maybe this one is a little bit harder let's see No, this, this goes easy too. Well, fairly easy, let's say. You see, um, the first ram I made is, it was easier to depopulate. Some are easier, some are uh, harder to depopulate, but eventually it will release the foil. No problems. Um, you will also see that different type of foils are, have uh, different backgrounds. That's because uh, every manufacturer uses a different process of plating this stuff. So you will find that some will have uh, nickel under the, the gold foils, some will have only copper, some will have other metals. Or using uh, before plating 
Now, um, you see it goes uh, forward, backward. Uh, it just takes a little bit of practice and uh, you will see that you can, you can use, uh, you can recover these foils fairly easy and fast. So uh, thanks Ben for the tip with the soldering iron. Um, actually, I was, uh, I, I did make, which I will show you in the next video, I, I did make a um, machine so I can machine down the, the foils. It's an electrical machine, um, just like a CNC machine. Well, it's a small one, homemade stuff. But it's quite interesting that uh, I choose this because I don't create waste with it. A waste which I do not know what to do with afterwards. So I rather invest some of my time uh, depopulating the foils like this instead of using uh, the AP process which I, I've tried so um, for me this one goes let's take some other ram sticks so you see a few minutes of work um, I do this like 10-20 minutes every day depopulating 20-30 rams ram sticks well I have a bunch of it so it's fine, it's relaxing, for me it's relaxing. Um, other people maybe uh, will say that this is just um, wasting of time. Well, not for me. For me it's, it's fine, it's relaxing. So, whatever suits you best. If you think, if you think that you or working better with the EP process then uh, go ahead um, this is not a, um, a race sort of speaking um, it's just everyone does it differently for me this works very nice uh, and uh, you see the immediate result because you will have the the foils at your disposal ready to do whatever you want to do with it um, when I will process these um, I will uh, try different techniques to use less acid um, at least to create less waste so it it will have a lot of copper under this so yeah, if, if you see, uh, I made like three boards, there's the result, so it's, it's fine. Let me do another one and then uh, we'll stop because I don't want to do a video too long. And uh, yeah, that's basically how you can depopulate with the soldering iron. clean, easy, without any huss and fuss, so my next video from this series will uh, show you how you can depopulate uh, the chips from these ram sticks from the already depopulated fingers so you can um, save those for later processing yes, there you go as I mentioned there are different types of ram sticks some um, are easier to depopulate some or not um, as you go along the way, uh, you will find what's easier to depopulate, uh, what's not so easy to depopulate, and uh, you will use your technique accordingly. It just takes a little practice, basically. 
not too much science in it it's just practice i i have done a few hundred sticks already so um yeah it's just this is it um so that said this is another technique to achieve this one uh, i will save these until i uh, my goal is to together like um, 10 kilograms of this stuff from which uh, Iwe is banned made an essay of course different types of uh, ram sticks um, may yield different types of uh, different uh, amount of gold and different uh, amount of copper but as he essayed a thousand ram sticks false from a thousand ra uh, ram sticks smelted uh, it resulted like if I remember correctly 85% copper and 3.5% gold 24 karat gold and um, well actually if you have 10 kilograms of this stuff you will roughly have 350 grams of pure gold um, I think it's worth it um, it's easier to save it I have a few uh, canisters like this so I will fill them up I have a lot of lot of ram sticks uh, to depopulate. So, guys, that's how it is. Um, see you in the next video, and uh, educate yourself because no one else will do uh, instead of you. So, yeah, be safe. Bye, guys.